So Wix just came out with a full on Webflow competitor called Editor X. So I knew how to check this out and the results are actually quite surprising. Hey everybody, what's up? My name is Ron Sale. Welcome back to Flux, where we're talking everything web design freelance. And today I want to talk about Editor X, the new product from Wix. Now, I want to start off with the end. I don't want to, you know, you, you'll watch the whole video, but I'll, let's just get you to the end. While I'm not going to replace Webflow right now with Editor X, the truth is, this is a really interesting product. And in the long run, I think we're going to have a really tough competition here. Now let's really dive into this. Before I actually dive into this, I want to be upfront. So, you know, this is not sponsored or anything. A lot of you know, I have been sponsored in the past by Webflow and I'm fully sold on Webflow. This is my currently my favorite product and I have a full on Webflow course. So I'm highly invested in Webflow. That being said, Wix, I have a lot of good friends working with Wix. So I'm based in Israel and Wix is an Israeli company. And so I have a lot of friends working there and I know that Wix is actually a great company as well and so I when I went into this you know I didn't really know how to feel obviously you know I'm invested in Webflow so I want them to like win but I also like the people in Wix and I know that there's good people there so I didn't really know what to expect going into this now I, I want to kind of show you my screen I basically went ahead and I gave it a try I said let me try and rebuild our website Flux Academy which is currently built on Webflow let me try to rebuild this with Editor X and actually see what are the limitations how it is different what is better and the things that I discovered I'll show you in a second is that while it is a little bit more limited at the moment than Webflow. There are some very cool things there. And as I've mentioned before, in the long run, I think it's going to be very tough and I'll explain why. So here is, this is our current Flux Academy website, by the way, we're working on a new one. And it has kind of a bunch of interactions, as you see, like a loading interaction, there's kind of a hover interaction and a lot of things kind of going on here before you go ahead and scroll down. So I've started to kind of rebuild this um, with Editor X just to learn the framework. Now, basically what they try to do here is somewhat very similar to you know um to webflow so basically the way webflow works is you have an element and basically here on the right you have the kind of the 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 styles panel where you basically manipulate css and you have basically all the css parameters and here on the left you basically have the navigator where you see the structure of the website now the way that um editor x approached it you can see that a lot of things here are very very similar in terms of you know how you manipulate basically the css but because i think wix is kind of more rooted in abstracting things and making things easier for the you know for the users versus teaching them you know how the web works and and how css works a lot of these things were kind of um turned into i think uh, things that designers would be more you know more comfortable with so instead of just putting the navigation um here and seeing the structure they've called this thing layers while and while it might look kind of similar right this is the structure of the page um and these things currently are in a flex box and you can actually edit the flex box right um the, the way that things are built here in Editor X is that if you actually bring this layer on top, you will see that the image goes here on top of the text. This is not really how it works with Webflow, just because in Webflow, you see, even if I bring this home he, here into the top, it's not going to get on top because it's influenced by the Z index that we have here. And so Wix went ahead and again, abstracted uh, some of the things to make this easier for designers, but then again, leaving you less access to the actual CSS things. Now, this is kind of more in the, how they thought and structured uh, about the, the, the platform. Now, let's talk about the good things and the limiting things. Let me start with actually the things that I love about this platform. So the first thing is that when you're editing 
stuff here, you can actually see here, they have basically the style guide built into the platform. So you have by default, you know, your H1, H2, H3 here, and it's really easy to apply these styles or just drag them here. So from text to colors, you basically have a style guide here. I'm basically, the way that I work with Webflow is that I usually just go ahead and create my, my own style guide here and then I have to hide it as a page. So I basically hacked this um, because I want this, but in Editor X, it's actually built in and I think this is actually very, very useful. Um, one more thing that I like here. Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Okay, so this is one thing that I like. Uh, another thing is, you know, when you're working with vectors, so this is an SVG, and as you can see, they allow me actually direct manipulation of the SVG, so I can change its color, for example. This is a tiny feature, but with Webflow, I currently do not have access to change SVGs, which kind of is frustrating for, you know, sometimes. Um, that's kind of the, the, the good thing. They also have, uh, let me see, I wrote down here, they also have like cool animation um, and, and video, um, let me see, media, they have kind of very cool kind of transparent video effect or something like this, video boxes, you know. Um, I think their their video is currently stronger than, than Webflow here. They have kind of transparent video with alpha channel. It's, it's pretty cool. Not sure how useful it is, but it's pretty cool. Now, in terms of limitation, there's still quite a few limitations here. In terms of interactions, you really don't have access to. In Webflow, basically, you have two ways to create your um, two ways to create your interaction. First of all, you have access to all the hover and all the states, right? Um, so with with Wix, you do not have access to this. When you're when you have buttons, you actually have here. I think. Let me see. Um, you do have kind of hover state and disabled state, but this is only for buttons. If I wanted to create just an hover state for this, um, you, you see, um, by the way, this is one more thing. Everything is mostly drag and droppable, right? So they tried to create this as a more visual platform. And while this is responsive, and they've kind of made here the docking, um, which you might, it, it might resonate with you if you're working with, you know, Figma or Sketch or something like this, like where is this docked to? But the fact that you can just move things around and it will position them, um, it's something that's definitely not how it works with Webflow. And I think some designers are going to love this, but I find this, you know, annoying because not everything is just getting into a container and being automatically being laid out by the layout that you chose. You actually just move things and position them. Um, and I think it kind of, it's confusing when you're actually designing websites. Um, what else did I want to talk to? What else did I want to talk to? Um, so uh, in terms of customization, there is still some things missing here. I mean, in the, in the type, you can't really change. Um, you can't change, you know, for all caps. And uh, there, there's a lot of tiny things that are missing at this point, which is again, and, and in terms of interaction. So we talked about the fact that I can select states from here, but I can also create very complex interactions here from the interactions panel, which is, you know, how we've created the intro interaction and this uh, text appearing and the, it reacts to my to my mouse. All these things currently are not possible. You can apply very simple kind of interactions you see here from this panel, but basically just these preset things. You can't really customize. So I can't really recreate what we've created here. It's simply not possible at this stage. Now, so these are the limitations, but I, now I want to cover why I think this might be potentially in the future something very, very powerful because Wix, because this is a Wix product and Wix have already have a very big kind of ecosystems of apps and services in services. So you have here, you basically can um, very easily add to your website, like a blog, like an e-commerce store, a booking, events, membership websites, and content manager, which is basically just, you know, um, CMS. So as you can see now, while Webflow does have a spe specific e-commerce solution and uh, CMS, to do things like booking events and memberships, you need to use third-party services. And the fact that Wix has a very big ecosystem and they can bring them in and turn this as part of the product um, 
they're now bringing in, I think, if I saw correctly, they're bringing in uh, live chat and all these kind of other services. When they are part of the, the, the actual platform, that makes things very, very easier um, for you to manage and, of course, not pay for other services. So, as I've said, right now, this is not as customizable and powerful as I need the web designer tool um, for my choice. Um, however, you know, I've said this before about you know Adobe and, and XD when it just came out people were kind of trashing it um, because it wasn't as powerful or as sketch and Figma but giving a long term I think you know Adobe with with a big budget and a talented team Adobe catched up um, and I do think I can imagine this is going to be the case with this editor X as well Wix is a big company super talented people are working there so I think this is going to be a a, a tough com uh, competition for Webflow. Now, again, I love them. I love them as people. I love them as a company. I love them as a product. And I'm, I'm not really sure how things are going to, um, you know, pan out in the long term. But I do think that we're going to be keeping an eye on Editor X to see how things turn out in the future. I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you've tried playing with Editor X or Webflow before. Let me know your comments, your thoughts about which is better, how they're different. And we'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.